All right, everybody, welcome back to our second stream of The Witness Randomizer. And, uh, yeah, on the back of the, the previous um, episode, we had just finished off the quarry. And we now have four lasers. Now, I was doing some um, reading around the randomizer off-stream uh, in between episodes. And there's actually three. I, I, knew that I, I said previously there was two. There is actually three lasers which are already turned on. So we have this um, shadow area here. There is the, the, I think they call it the monastery area, where the um, you have to play with the shutters and different bits and pieces. And also the greenhouse is already enabled. I guess they can only do so much with the colorblind puzzles. Um, so yeah, those three lasers are already active. So at the minute we have a total of five lasers activated. And we are actually going to head over to the seafront over here. I'm going to tackle some of these reflection puzzles. So that um, these are some interesting ones, definitely. So it would be good. To in, it would be good to see how they manage to randomize to randomize these puzzles in this. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see if we can actually remember what it is we need to do. Also, let's just... Uh... That is not the right location. Or might be there. Eee. Just love that sound. Uh, anyway, we're not going to get bogged down with those. So where's the first one? Here's the first one. I was, I did actually check through some of the puzzles um, off camera because I, I just kind of wanted to see whether or not they were randomized. And uh, I was checking them as I was doing the editing on the YouTube side of the videos. And uh, yeah, they are indeed randomized. Let's start there. The average of the seven. Okay. Well, I, I if um, if that was me personally, Mika, I think I would be very happy with with um, that grade. If I'm honest, if it's like the average of all seven criteria, I think that's um, a four point five. Is in my opinion, anyways, would be something to be very pleased about. Um, okay. Okay. This is different. Because all of the puzzles normally outside of here are these um, hexagon shapes, I'm pretty sure. So, let's look at this one. One thing I, I don't know as well is whether or not like any of these puzzles are actually um, bespoke puzzles or whether... All it is is they just like shuffle the panels around. Um, it'd be quite interesting to know or understand. I'm guessing that they are randomly generated puzzles as opposed to shuffling them around, but I can't can't say for sure. Do I need to be right at the top for this one? I think I just missed it. Gosh darn it. Alright, well I guess we're uh, setting it back the other way then. Could have probably controlled this from... Ah, I'm probably going to miss it again now, aren't I? I'm over there. There we go. Yeah, I think I could have, like, I can hit that from there, possibly. Yeah, so I could have done that there. So I didn't have to rush all the way back down and do it again. Uh, cool. So that should now open this door over here, if I remember rightly. So um, just checking, is my microphone level and everything okay? I've got it in a slightly different position to normal. 
you could let me know. Justification test evaluators wrote that my strengths were high quality Greek skills and ex exceptional usage of bibliography, and I was able to give a new perspective of, to philosophy of religion. There is no other master thesis on philosophy of religion from early church, so I was something new to that area. Oh, nice. Like I say, Mick, I think, if, all in all, if, if that was me, I would be... I think I'd be extremely happy with like that sort of feedback. Definitely. Uh, that is not the light I am looking for. And nor is that one. Doesn't look like it's going through the middle, so it's just all the way around the outside to the bottom. It's all the way around the outside. Cool. Next one. Start there. To the middle, I think. Oh. Then back out. Okay. And I messed it up. No. Straight down. Then up there. Okay. Yeah, but I'm, I'm starting to think now, like, with these puzzles, that they are... These ones, in particular, um, are just shuffled around. Because this one is normally the square one that we got up there. I'm pretty sure that... That puzzle was actually the same one as well that's normally here. That's interesting. And I'd be very... I would hazard a guess that this one is actually just one of the, the straight line puzzles. Because normally at the top there are some which are just a straight line. Just start, well, say it starts. Really bad at like standing in the right place for these. Like exceptionally bad. Okay, no, it starts here and it ends there. So it goes around somewhere, so it's not just a straight line. I'll take it back. Nothing there. Excellent. Onwards we go. Now these ones can trip you up quite easily because... Well, they can trip me up at least quite easily because they are... And when we start using the reflections and you're, you're looking at the puzzles and the, the dots, I, I always have like a bit of a job identifying where, where the dots actually are. They're around here for this one. All right. Yeah, you see, these are the ones that are normally outside, I'm pretty sure. But I don't know if, like, with these ones, it, they've just shuffled them around because it's just a case that there's only, like, so many... Um, there's only so many combinations that you can actually do on these puzzles, maybe. Reflection over here that we can probably get this one on. Where does that go around to? I go around to the next one. So. Is that it? 
Yes, excellent. All right, we got through them pretty quickly. Oh, this room. Yeah. This room... I'm not a fan of. I don't mind these puzzles for so much. It's this, that last puzzle over there, which is the one I absolutely hate. I think I just missed that, so let's get the water to come back up again. Where is that starting? Starting here? Here. Cool. Next, we uh, think we we'll possibly stand here for this one. The Samaritan in language structure, but maybe I don't now stick to those errors. Could learn from those to false coins. Okay, so you're going on to your, um, you are going on to like the next, the next stage, Mika. forgotten this this one's yeah this one's pretty tricky because it's like backwards and reflected so yeah you have to really pay attention start at the top Go around to the left, or halfway, up, out, and then back there, okay. There, 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 there. What am I worried about? Seriously. What was we worried about? I think I just saw, like, the reflection of this one over here as well, though. I might actually be able to see this one from... More from over here. I just kind of, as I said, like, um, the other day, I, I kind of just wish I'd have recorded my first playthrough of this, because the f the first playthrough of, like, The Witness and your first experience of The Witness is something very special because of the game. The game is just absolutely phenomenal. Sure, where I'm gonna. Around there. Okay, so it's down to there and all the way around at the top. Okay, I think I can remember that by the time I get over here. Cool. Cool. All right, here we go. This, this is my pet hate. This is the one. So if I remember, it's like you see this in two different places, which makes this one quite tricky.
obviously, if for a start, we've got to identify where those two places are. Can't quite remember. Uh, four or five credits is your master program, so I have some left. After next year, I've done your master program. Then you'll search for a job, after which I will apply to doctor, doctor of research. My thoughts with this is that I found my studies by work. Yeah, I know. Um, I, I hear I like a lot from higher education um, students. Like, funding is quite hard to come by. Okay, it's going to come out of there. So that's the last bit. So where we got like the zigzags here. And it's so hard to draw when you're like a way away from these things. So yeah, the last bit is like a slanted W. We just kind of need to find... A reflection on the rest of it if we can. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we're going to go there. Bottom corner up like that. Then maybe something like this. Well, I think you're like well on track for that, Mika. Yay, we did it. All right, that wasn't so bad. That wasn't so bad. Alright, a couple more of these. We have absolutely like blitzed this area, haven't we? There's this little S shape here, and then we're all the way to the end. On here. Switch to looking here. Oh, yeah, this one. This one is interesting. This one's flipped, so it's across to the left, zigzag up, and then yeah, okay. So. Across the left, zigzag all the way to the top. Actually. Oh, all the way to the top and zigzag down. Sorry. That makes more sense. I was like, well, yeah. That wasn't what I just saw. Uh, this one has a sneaky switch on the back, doesn't it? That's right. And that should be that. Also, spoilers.
This is quite a sneaky one. Because um, a lot of people just kind of jump straight onto the uh, elevator and don't appreciate that there's something underneath it. Um, some universities require at least four out of five for master thesis, so that one can apply for doctoral research. So, yeah. It sounds a bit similar to like our like when we when people over here are, are applying, there's like a cert, there's like a minimum requirement of education or a minimum grade um, requirement to be able to uh, go to certain places and study certain courses. And uh, yeah, there we go. There is another laser so um next up i think what we'll do next let's head to the town because of course we've got to we've actually got okay we've actually got to redirect this laser anyway so we may as well head to the town uh, actually, I'll tell you what, no, we won't go to the town. Let's do this area outside of the town first, which is the um, Apple area. The Apple and the Tree area. We can find the first panel. Now, I'm guessing these aren't randomized, though. Which is a bit of a shame. Two, four, it's on number seven. And this one. On broken branch there, and this one will be on number eight. Okay, this one is flipped. So this one will be number two here. The reason I know that is because if you look at this area here, there's a broken, there's, a, there's only two there, uh, one there, sorry, and there's, there's the broken branch to represent that. And this one, now there is somewhere Somewhere there is a, um, a twig, isn't there? Yeah, so the apple should be on one of the broken branches. You can actually see where it is from here. So, but that'll be that one for the simple fact that if you count the branches here, you have three on this one, three on this one, there's three on this one, and then that one should be a four. So, yeah, that's where the apple should lay on this one. I say I'm pretty sure if you go in here, there is the branch and the apple. Um, but yeah, this is just like a little bonus area. There's nothing really in here which uh, there is to do. So uh, yeah, let's head on into the town. And um, we will go and tackle those puzzles. Uh, I forgot to remember how to get into the town, that is. And the windmill puzzle remains the same. Uh, now, is there anything else down here other than the theatre? Try to remember. We have the doors here, of course. And 
Let's isolate that one. Isolate those, isolate those. Ah, yeah, okay. Around the top here first, then do that. So I'm not going to worry about the movie, movie booth here. Here we're allowed two mistakes. I think we should just do that. That will open the door. Here we need to incorporate the sh Tetris shapes in with um, in here. So we could probably isolate those. Do that, do that, and uh, that should be all right. There we go. I mean, these are all sort of extra puzzles that I wasn't really going to do. Um, I didn't want to get like too bogged down with doing the extra stuff. So. Um. Let's think about this. Where is this one going to sit? I think it will be a three. We'll go up, across, we want something like that, but we need to isolate off. Uh, I haven't, Eddie, I haven't. I haven't touched the, uh, unfortunately, touched recurse for a long, long time. Yes, we need to isolate this here. Or do we incorporate, because uh, if we do that, it's got to do that. So, yeah, um, this one's interesting. This one's very interesting. Do that. If that was the three, then have to include that there. So that wouldn't work. I'm just like wondering, do we need to we had that like that? That's not separated there, is it? That's not separated there. Can't do that because we'd need to come around that one. Square here. Yeah. The only thing I can think is, do we have to encompass all of this? 
We have the three. That would come up to there. Go okay, wrap round here, wrap round there. So, yeah, but then we wouldn't have we wouldn't be including this one here. So think that would be all right apart from the fact it's not going to include hold on we could do that where does the see the problem again the problem with this so then the three's not included, is it? Two, three. Ha, huh, how can we include this? Oh. oh, it doesn't include that one. What if I did that and that? So we've got that one there. There's the three. What's wrong with that? Reason on the bottom. Up. And then that's there. Yeah, there we go. Try Im not inputting the wrong solution. Eddie, your words of wisdom, as always. Okay, so this one... Okay, this is interesting. I think I need to come down here first, wrap around this. Whenever you get like these threes, you have to wrap around like that. Pass that one once, once, twice there. Okay. Awesome sauce. <laughs>